Hello students, welcome to J Science Hub. Today we are going to study about one of the most important system in human body. This is a perfect time to study about this system because due to lockdown, instead of three meals per day, we are all having four to five, right? So we should know actually what happens to the food we are consuming. We humans perform a lot of activities, right? For example, the physical activities as well as the biochemical reactions which take place inside the body need energy. We had to drop, right? So we can't produce our food. So how can we generate this energy? We already know mitochondria is responsible for producing energy. To produce this energy, the food substrate as well as the oxygen is needed, right? So this process is known as cellular respiration. So there is energy which is required for different biological process that take place in human body can be obtained from food. So we can consider food as a fuel for producing the energy. Just imagine we are consuming different varieties of food, right? These foods are complex in structure. Just think about the food we are having. With two string hoppers, pizza, biryani. These things are very complex in structure, right? So they can't be used as a substrate to produce the energy in the cell. So they should be break down into small particles which can be used by our cells. So the process by which the complex organic compounds are converted into a simple organic products which can be absorbed into human body is called digestion of food. In the first unit of grade 10 we study about different biomolecules right? In the unit we study about organic compounds. Mainly carbohydrate, lipids and proteins are present in the food we are consuming. So we know their complex structure as well as their simple structure. Carbohydrate complex structures are the polysaccharides. Their simple structure is a monosaccharides. Proteins are the complex structure and their basic simple structure is the amino acids. Lipids are made up of fatty acids and glycerol. So now we know the complex structure as well as the simple structure of biomolecules we are consuming as food. So during digestion, the complex form of these biomolecules are converted into a simple form of biomolecules. During digestion, there are three main important functions take place in digestive system. They are food digestion, absorption of digested in product and removal of undigested food materials from the body. The food digestion can be take place in two processes. They are mechanical and chemical processes. So let's compare the difference between this mechanical and chemical process. Mechanical process convert the physical nature of the food. For example, when you are consuming a food, first it should be turned into small particles. So here the food composition is not changing, only the size can be changed. We can consider it as a physical change thing about buccal cavity inside this cavity teeth are present so these teeth helps us to tear the food cut the food and grind this food into small particles okay so this can be considered as a mechanical digestion inside the stomach also mechanical digestion is take place then what is chemical digestion during the chemical digestion the food is converted so the composition of the food is changed it means the complex food particles are converted into a simple food particle so in brief we can consider during chemical process the insoluble complex compounds are broken down into simple molecules by the action of enzymes we already study about enzymes right enzymes are globular proteins they are not engaged in the reactions but they increase the rate of reaction so there are different enzymes are engaged in the process of digestion there are some nutrition that can be used by the body without any digestion such as mineral salts some vitamins glucose fructose and galactose these are the simple sugars right so the human digestive system is a single tube structure made up of different organs so these tube like structure which made up of different organs where digestion is take place is known as digestive tract apart from the organs which make this digestive tract there are some glands and organs present they secrete some secretions which are essential for food digestion so now you understand digestive tract is a tube like structure if it is a tube like structure it should have two ends right entry point as well as the exit point the entry point of digestive system is the mouth and the exit point is the anus so mouth connects the digestive tract with the external environment so we are injecting the food through our mouth through the mouth it first enter into the cavity this cavity is known as buccal cavity this buccal cavity is made up of jaws 
upper jaw and the lower jaw the lower jaw is very special because it is the only bone present in the face which is movable buccal cavity is surrounded by the cheek teeth are present in upper jaw and lower jaw there are three pairs of salivary glands present in this cavity and they are responsible for the secretion of saliva tongue is a muscular structure which present here it has the receptors which are responsible for identifying the taste tongue also help us to mix the food with saliva saliva contain the salivary amylase a enzyme which turns the starch into maltose so here the part of complex carbohydrate that is polysaccharide is turned into maltose that is disaccharide a partial digested food is formed into a bolus and pushed to the posterior part of the buccal cavity next the food is enter into the pharynx pharynx is a common area to both respiratory and digestive system both the esophagus and trachea are connected to the pharynx so how our body protects the entry of food particles into trachea from pharynx when you are swallowing it's because of a muscular part presence above the trachea which is called epiglottis this epiglottis block the path of trachea when you are swallowing the food so this is how the food particles are prevent from entering into the respiratory tract now the food bolus is enter into the esophagus esophagus is a tube like structure which connect the buccal cavity and the stomach there's no digestion take place inside the esophagus from pharynx the esophagus transfer the food to the stomach so how the food move along this tube it's due to the peristaltic movement which take place in esophagus so you have a question what is peristaltic movement esophagus is a muscular structure right so due to contraction and relaxation of its walls the peristaltic movement appear as wave so in brief it can be considered as a rhythmic contractions and relaxation of esophagus wall so due to the peristaltic movement which take place in esophagus the food is moved into the stomach so stomach is a dilated sac like organ we can consider it as a bag like structure inside the stomach the food is stored temporarily for certain period for more than 3 hours the food is retained inside the stomach as i mentioned earlier inside the stomach also the mechanical process of digestion is take place it take place due to the peristaltic activity of muscles in the stomach wall due to this peristaltic activity the bolus is broken down and mix well into a chyme the secretion secrete inside the stomach collectively called as gastric juice gastric juice mainly contain hcl the hydrochloric acid so which makes the medium inside the stomach acidic secretion of this hydrochloric acid can be considered as a first level immunity because it kills the microbes which enters with the food also it helps to activate the pepsin so this pepsin is responsible for converting part of protein into polypeptide in infants the renin is present and causes the coagulation of milk chyme containing partially digested protein digested and undigested carbohydrates undigested lipids water minerals and vitamins are released into the proximal part of small intestine which is called as duodenum so you may have a doubt how you sense hunger when the stomach is empty it continues to contract so if it is empty for a long period of time the contraction rate also high so it causes a pain it gives a sense about hunger hunger is a signal that indicates the need of food so in this video we study about the process of digestion which take place up to stomach in the next video we will study about the rest of the process which take place during the digestion of food thanks for watching this video like share and subscribe to jsn sub for more videos related to science